I am fed up. I've seen way too many influencers just have Lamborghinis and buy nice houses. I think we're all scratching our heads about how these internet people make money online. Now, if there's someone who's maybe aspiring to do the same thing, this video is for you. I'm gonna show you how to make almost $300 a day just from TikTok. And you don't need any starting capital. You don't need any investment. You just gotta make content for 15 seconds. If you wanna know how creators are able to make money on TikTok, all I gotta do is keep on watching. All right, guys, first of all, what's up? My name is Jade and welcome to my channel. I have to make a huge disclaimer because I feel really bad if I don't say this. So if you're new here, I'm an 18 year old entrepreneur and I have businesses all about social media. And the one thing I've learned is if your goal is just to make money and that's your focus, you'll never be able to achieve that goal by focusing on it, which means don't focus on the $300 a day. Like I know you can buy literally so many clothes from Urban Outfitters. With $300, you could literally pay off rent in a month, right? If you make $300 a day, you could literally get an iPhone 11 in just one week. So yeah, I know it's pretty lucrative and pretty exciting, but don't just have the intention to make money. What I've learned is TikTok is a social media app that's built on fans and followers. So if you ask people for money, they're gonna go away. But if you build a genuine relationship and trust, then you'll have longevity to put out other revenue streams in the future. So if you're looking for a quick rich scheme, I am not this video. I would click off and watch someone else. Today's video is actually gonna be kind of boring, but I'll try to make sure it's entertaining. I actually brought in a TikTok expert, Selena Killa. She's over 500K on TikTok and she hates calling me a TikTok expert, but we're gonna pick her brain on how creators are making money on this platform. So one of the most important ways you guys can make money using TikTok that we mentioned in this video is selling merch. So Selena and I were talking about opening up a website to sell products. Now, one of the most important things when building a brand is having a memorable domain. So I actually really wanted a website called pbj.com. I was so mad when I realized that the domain name was taken or unavailable. I actually got pbj.site instead for one of my businesses and I love it. Guys, it's way more short and sleek and perfect for building a memorable brand. So whether you're someone who's wanting to start their new TikTok career or sell merch in the future, you can actually use .site extensions for your next website. Next time, all you gotta do is go to get.site or click the link in the description box. Thank you, .site, for sponsoring today's video. And we'll get back in today's video. All right, guys, so I'm here with Selena Killa. Can I call you by that two names? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with Selena, and Selena is primarily the TikTok expert we talked to in the last video. I wanna see if I can even take down the e-boy king. <laughs> oh, we can see, I don't know about that. How are you doing? I'm good. I wouldn't say I'm a TikTok <laughs> expert, but yeah, I'm good. <laughs> well, today we have a few questions for you since I don't know as much. My first question, Selena, is what are the ways people can make money on TikTok? And if so, do you think it's actually sustainable to make a living? So you can make money through lives, which gives you the, the donation. Wait, hold up. So for people who don't know, what are live streams on TikTok? So it's just like you're sitting there in your room or wherever you are, and it's happening in real time, and you're talking to whoever you're talking to and your fans, and they have a little button they can buy money or buy money buy gifts which is their money and it sends it to you and so you basically get gifts and those gifts translate to actual money that you can transfer into your PayPal account. Do they pay you out like every month? Because is it like YouTube AdSense or is it just a cash out? So you can do a cash out. You have to have $50 at least in your account to be able to cash out. I think you can cash out up to $1,000 a day and that's about it. Wow, very cool. So live streams is one revenue stream. What else would you say? brand deals for sure. I think brand deals now are coming more into like fruition just because we were talking about that the um, the sponsor post now so you have to put hashtag sponsor because it's more of like a serious concrete thing because there's so many people actually getting brand deals and you don't want to like kind of muddle the lines of actually like is it a brand deal? Is it just something that you like or so? And I saw you recently do like an LED. It was in an LED yeah. like that. <laughs> okay there's like ways you can integrate it creatively right? Like you don't just like hold the product. You, you make no, it fun. No, no. And I think that's the great thing about TikTok is that they want you to make videos to catch people's eyes. They don't just want you to be like, oh, here's here's a mug, buy it. Because I mean, I feel like sometimes in YouTube, you kind of have like the whole video to kind of convince people to buy a product. You have only like a minute to 16 or 15 usually seconds to make someone want to buy it. So for my LED lights, they said I could post as many videos as I want, as long as I tag them or like talk about the lights, but I can do whatever I want. See, the thing with TikTok I found, and this is personally for me as a user, I love, I like a fan of creator love, for example, you, but because the algorithm is so like, there's so much content they give you every single day, you can get lost. So I saw 
that a lot of your followers on TikTok followed you on Instagram. So my question for you is because TikTok might not be the platform to like just make money, have you found that because you grew on that platform, you're directing it on other traffic sources? Yes. Is that the same thing? 1000% because I don't think I would have gotten half the brand deals I did if it weren't for me connecting my Instagram to it. A lot of companies reach me through Instagram because my business email is on there. So they will email me through that or they'll DM me or anything like that. But usually on TikTok, since you have to follow the person to actually message them, you both have to follow each other to to be able to message. So you fans can't just randomly message you like like okay. in uh, Instagram where you can have like your okay. DMs that you can't keep, they won't see if you see if that makes sense. Okay. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, now I have like 20,000 people, almost I think 20,000 on my Instagram which I did not think was going to happen. So I guess it leads me to my my third question which is your own product because on YouTube and Instagram I've seen that that's a third revenue stream. Is that the same? Have you seen TikTokers create merch or their own product before? I know a couple of people that create merch through websites or they're trying to create their own brands or they collaborate and make music for people or they make actual plush toys, stickers, anything that you can think of they're making. Some people are really creative. They make their entire design or some people just plaster their username on it and call it a day. So <laughs> it really just depends what you qualify as good merch. But uh, yeah, it's happening. And there's people that will re that will reach out to you and say, I will make your merch for you. Cause I've gotten that plenty of times, but I'm not ready yet. I don't want to be one of those people that just plaster something on a shirt and then just says, okay, give me money. Knowing those three revenue streams, the donations, brand deals, and then product. Have you seen anyone or maybe personal stories? Like, can you make a living off of it? Like is TikTok enough to maybe do it full time? What would you say? Yeah, for sure. I think because it's opening a lot of doors for people. I know that another way that people are getting money is actually companies that produce music or have rappers. They'll say, please use this song, make it a trend. We'll give you $300 a post. Wow. So it's not only just merch or anything like that. It's companies that are trying to utilize these people because they obviously have an influence that's like really fast growing. And and it reaches people really quickly that they can make a trend with that song because there's so many artists that blown up just from TikTok. So I think definitely you can make a living. I know a rapper, he blew up on TikTok and he says he was barely getting his bills paid and now all of a sudden he's getting brand deals and he got right side to a record label. Let's just break it down. Like I think you get this advice, like don't do it for the money, but for people who want to see the potential and what's possible, I'm gonna ask, maybe this is too personal, but like what's the most you know that someone has made, let's say at like a one single life stream a couple thousand dollars because there, a lot of people use these tactics to enforce people to pay money so they say okay drama queen is like the most you can pay right it's like fifty dollars basically even though tiktok takes some of that money because they need to make money yeah. somehow so they say okay i'm wearing this sweatshirt if you donate three drama queens you'll get more numbers in a raffle to get this sweatshirt so they give an incentive oh. yeah they give an incentive That's which smart. is fine I personally don't do that because I feel like it Why? loses a connection to my fans because I have a lot of, you know, younger fans, I have a lot of fans from different places and they can't afford to give me money. But I don't want to like ostracize them for not giving me donations because people will ignore you if you don't give donations sometimes. I've seen TikTokers that would be like, where's the donations? Give me money. Give me your fucking money! And those people... That doesn't work well in the long run. Yeah. Because I feel like to me, that's why I'm like, I make a decent amount of money from TikTok, but I think I don't make as much as other people because if I did like, oh, if you guys give me a drama queen, I'll add you to my private Snapchat. I don't do that. But I know in the long run, I'm going to have fans that actually stick with me because I treated them well. Right. And I think, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but like, do you feel like brand deals and although donations are great, revenue streams, they're, it's less long term and maybe creating a product will have longevity because the customer is getting value and it's it's an actual business where you're able to scale it. Do you think the direction maybe you're personally going into is creating your own product for longevity? Mom, wait! She's like, we're having breakfast. I told her I'm in like doing an interview thing and she's just like, okay, we're making breakfast. I love her though. Okay. It is definitely not long term, but I think that this is a running point for people because I just got a huge brand deal that I can't talk about, but there's issues with that already. So it's like crazy stuff's happening. Yeah. I'm getting brand deals that are like starting to step up bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, which is great. But I also want to create my own brand, like not just me, but my own clothing brand in general. But I know I won't, I won't be able to get there unless I have my fans. To support me so right now i'm just kind of focusing on i'm gonna get as many fans as i want that's not true but it's like grow my audience stay connected with them and then they're gonna support me in the long run because everyone wants me to do merch i'm not ready for merch i know that what are you waiting for i'm just waiting for a decent team because the only thing i'm very i don't want to release something that's 
subpar. To, to come back to this full circle, the last thing I just want to talk about is the mindset because I don't think we dove into that much yet. A lot of people see the potential of TikTok and they want to do it because of the money. And I'm not even talking about TikTok. I'm talking about YouTube, Instagram. They want to do it because of fame and fortune. How do you keep a mindset? Because I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like maybe you stumbled onto this. Like this was a more genuine passion for you and then you found ways to monetize. Is that what you recommend for everyone? Like just to create something they like first or like, because so many people, like how, what advice would you give to someone who wants to do it? Because like, I got that question a lot asking like, how, how can I get famous? What do I do? And I, my answer is always like, you're, this is an app you're supposed to have fun on. Create genuine, original content that you like. You can follow trends, do things like that. But once you start getting analytical and being upset about numbers and being upset that nobody's viewing your stuff that's pointless people didn't see my stuff for the for a while and then I had one video about Japan that just blew up and I could have just stopped there but I kept going because I enjoyed what I do it shouldn't be about fame that's my point because I didn't do this for fame I just got really lucky and I don't think I'm famous I just think I'm popular Yo, Selena, thank you so much for coming on to my channel and I hope you enjoyed make sure you give this video a like and subscribe and shout out to the comment winner shout out to the comment winner Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you want to be the next comment winner, comment below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goo.